Hello. Hello and welcome to the stream. If you are just tuning in, I'm just going live. <laughs> Crazy how that works, right? Uh, I'm experimenting with some different stuff today. This is my shit collection in the corner there. Hi, Bookworm. I got a new camera, or MVP got us some new cameras to experiment with, and they're really not the best, but cameras are in short supply around this place, so we are trying it out for my stream. It's a it's a Microsoft Life Cam, and it's a little a little webcammy, you know. But look, the color's real good and stuff. Anyway, so I'm starting early today. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I want to accomplish. And uh, so here we are. I actually just started, I'm looking at some overlays that I have. So I just installed this, the pretzel song requests um, extension. So I'm just seeing where that is. Let's see, visible. If you guys have ever played with that, feel free to make a request. Um, it does cost a bit, but that's kind of part of the fun. So I kind of have it in the middle of the screen right now. You can turn it off too. There we go. So if you haven't checked Pretzel out before, you should check it out because it's pretty good music. So if you ever, um, if you're ever hanging out and you want something to listen to, I would check it out. And then that way, if you ever see a streamer that has that sort of extension installed, you can send a request in. I don't really know how it works because I just installed it on Friday or whatever. Um, and I haven't seen anybody use it before. But, um, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, so I think the first thing that I'm going to do is make some smoothies. So like the title indicated, um, I am trying to do more meal prep. And one of the things that I want to eat is just smoothies and juices. So I'm going to, I read on the internet that you can freeze smoothies and juices <coughs> and just thaw them the night before you want to use them or drink them in the refrigerator overnight and then shake them up. So I got these 12 ounce jelly jars to use and I'm basically gonna make some smoothies and juices and stuff and put them in my freezer and see what happens. So I'm thinking that uh, you want to fill it up all the way because it's gonna expand a little bit. So just to kind of test how full I'm gonna be able to get these things. I'm going to kind of eyeball on my smoothie cup, my blender cup, how much two of these comes out to be volume wise. Okay, so it's the max line, that's convenient. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was because when it's 5.30 in the morning, and I need to get out the door. Sometimes I have fallen asleep on the couch the night before, <laughs> and I have not made myself a smoothie to bring with me to work, and then I just leave. And then I don't eat anything until like 8.30, um, and then I have baked goods, and it would be better for me to have a vegetable. <laughs> so, that's what I'm gonna do. And it will also enable me to have fruits other than um, bananas in my smoothies. So I'm gonna make a pineapple avocado smoothie with spinach. And I'm basically just gonna eyeball it. It'll make two servings. 
and it'll be really tasty. So, Bookworm, how are you? I like your Stina hat, Santa hat emote. It's very cute. Not too bad, good. Are you a smoothie person, Bookworm? Do you like, <coughs> Rusty's here. <laughs> In case you weren't sure what that noise was. <laughs> he likes his presence known. Bookworm says it snowed again last night and the traffic was horrible this morning, but otherwise it's been good. So, um, I've been trying to keep an eye on, uh, the amount of oil we have in our tank. And we got a delivery about... Let's see, middle of November, maybe maybe around the 10th or 12th. And our tank was still half full, but I'm like, great, this will last us a while. Nope, we're back to being half full. I'm not very happy about it. It hasn't even really been that hot, but I mean, that cold. But we're down to needing like half a tank of oil again. It hasn't even been a month. I'm sure some of that has to do with the fact that our boiler needs maintenance, and I screwed that up. Are you okay, Rusty? Maybe you should go lay down. No, you can't have avocado. You eat cereal every morning? Cereal's okay. I used to eat cereal every morning, too. I have some weird inflammatory issue though, and if I have a ton of grains all the time, I get eczema. I would rather sleep. Yes, so that's the whole reason I'm making smoothies ahead of time. Um, so that I can plan. And be better about taking care of myself. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get a notification, Mama Bean. Thank you for coming. I actually created a webhook so that it would auto-post from Twitter to Discord, too. Um, but it doesn't seem to have worked. It, it's also supposed to forward to um, my Facebook page, and I don't think that worked either. I mean, I'm, I'm good at technology and stuff, but... I have a limited scope of experience when it comes to streaming. So, I'm gonna have to look at it. But, um, yeah, technology, uh, ugh. I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten my email yet either. I get, um, email alerts on my bot, just so that I know that it's actually working. And I, I agree, I don't think it's gone yet. I've been getting pretty good about being ready on time, like before the stream is supposed to start. Why am I in this screen? I should be in this screen. Yeah, there we go. Um, but um, I, I still was just about ready, so I just started. How am I feeling? Um, I'm pretty good. Um, I think I've kicked it. Yesterday I was still kind of, like, icky. Um, Friday I was, like, a complete zombie. I slept. I know I was in MVP's chat off and on on Friday, but I was pretty much sleeping. So, I slept a lot on Friday, and then when I woke up. Um, on Saturday I was okay. Um, I had a really stressful day at work. And then, why don't we just squish this as full as possible. The max line on the Nutribullet is for the liquid. So, I think we can still fit some in there. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think Bookworm's right. There is usually a delay, but um, I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done about it, honestly. Yeah, um, Saturday I had a really crappy day at work too because people called out and then they're like, oh, I was supposed to work at this and this hour, so it was a little stressful. But, um, we managed to survive. Alright, I think that's as full as I can get it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been almost 20 minutes, so they should have sent it out. Yes, it's fine, you're here, that's what matters. So I know this sounds weird, but I'm actually just gonna use water for this. And the reason is because the pineapple is so tangy, you don't need any other types of flavorful liquid in here. Okay, we'll see if this is too full. How are you doing today, Bomba Bean? So what is the green things? Okay, so in the smoothie is at least a cup of spinach, I'm just eyeballing it, half of an avocado and then about half of a pineapple, but there's still some left here. You could be better just dealing with a lot of shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, that sounds terrible, I'm sorry. I was just complaining to Bookworm that um, we just had our oil tank filled up mid-November and it was halfway then and it's halfway again. <laughs> so that's another 250 bucks, 260 bucks um, towards the end of the month, you know, and that's Christmas and all that. So that's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your day's crapsy. <laughs> No money for Christmas, yep. I, I'm fortunate enough to have gotten a like little Christmas bonus from my mom for helping her out. But that's gonna be like my budget. That's all I'm gonna That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna spend a ton of money because I really <laughs> MVP was right, fuck Christmas, yeah. Honestly, I was in the store today shopping and I thought to myself Oh, it's Christmassy! And I actually, like, got really excited. <laughs> then I was, like, thinking about you guys. So, Mama Bean, I am actually gonna be freezing these so that I can eat them during the week and not have to go out of my way. making smoothies every day. So, I'm 
made a special trip to the store just so that I could get these. And I'm just gonna tighten them loosely. And then I'm gonna go back in in a little, little, little bit to tighten them up after they started freezing. Oh, hello ducks, welcome to the stream. I have made two smoothies to drink during the week that I'm gonna freeze. It's crazy. I'm gonna freeze them. So that way I can have different fruits and vegetables than I normally do. Usually the night before, like before I go to bed, I make my little smoothie cup with spinach and a banana. And then in the morning I put in my almond milk and my peanut butter and I blend it. Well, that's all that I have time for. <laughs> so this makes it so that I can cut up the pineapple and cut the avocado and put it all together and don't have to worry about it until the day before. I just take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge. How do you, how do you unfreeze them? Yeah, so I read this online. This is the first time that I've been gonna try this, but apparently the night before you're gonna drink it. You take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge and then you let it thaw for a little bit until you're ready to drink it. And then you just kind of shake it up. It might still be a little frozen, so you kind of have to play it by ear. I haven't done it before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but I made a shelf in the freezer for these things. They're all by themselves. Okay, two down. Stay upright, thank you. So I guess I'm going to drink this and rinse it out and make some more. I'm gonna do the same thing with some juice, but Let's make that cranberry orange smoothie that I made earlier in the week. And then we'll make juice. So, we gotta wrap this pineapple up. Or put it in a bag. I think I have bags. Oh, and I was saying, um, ducks, before you got in, that the smoothie is just spinach, like a cup of spinach, a half an avocado, and almost a half of a pineapple, as much as I could fit into the smoothie cup. And then I just filled it with water to the max line, which was about 24 ounces, because, or maybe 20 ounces, because the, um, the jelly jars that I have are 12 ounces a piece. The only problem with eating so much produce is that you run out of room in the refrigerator for everything. Come on. Squish. Okay. Alrighty. Ducks, do you do smoothies? I remember hearing you say something about how eating too much fruit bothers your stomach. It was either that or it was something, something else bothers your stomach. You used to eat smoothies? Well, what stopped you? Why don't you do it anymore? Ooh. 
Oops, I forgot my orange zest. I was trying to get MVP to be more into smoothies, but then she started doing Weight Watchers, and even though fruit on Weight Watchers is free, smoothies are not. You think it was doing weird stuff to your blood sugar? Okay. I think I'm actually just gonna make a one time for this. Never filled you up. I see. Um, I can see how that would happen. And to be honest, um, part of what I'm doing here is just so that I can get more nutrients. Like, my plan is to have these juices and smoothies ready to go, but so that I can have, like, toast and oatmeal and actual foods instead of having a salad. Like, MVP, I don't know how she does it, but she can eat a salad for lunch. And that's it. Like, today I sent her to work with a big salad and some chopped fruit and some salad dressing. I don't know what else she's gonna have to eat, because that to me doesn't sound like enough. MVP used to have trouble with uh, smoothies like that, and um, she got tested for diabetes and she doesn't have any problems with her blood sugar. I don't know what, what the deal was. I think it might have been more of a, um, oh shoot. I put my camera over here and now I can't get to my my recipe book. Dang it. Just got tired of them, yeah. I need to eat a lot. See, that's one of the things about if you eat mostly produce, you have to eat a lot. Like, all the time. It is always good to make sure. So what ended up being MVP's problem is that she was vitamin deficient. Um, in like, B's and D's and stuff. Oh, Dark Prince says you were diagnosed with diabetes this past Friday. Wow. Fruit just wrecks you. That's really strange, ducks. <laughs> yeah, Mama Bean, exactly. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to make all this stuff in advance so that I can bring it with me and just have it for the vitamins and the nutrients and because it tastes good, but to have the heavier food still so that I actually feel like a human throughout the day. Because if I just have my smoothie, it will it will hold me over for a few hours, but I'll still need my protein bar and my nuts and my oatmeal and stuff like that. So now you have MS, sleep apnea, and diabetes. Wow, that's rough, man. You have my sympathy. That sounds very tough. So I'm pretty sure that when I made this smoothie the other day, it was a quarter teaspoon of orange zest, and then like a third of a cup of um, I can't even read my Pyrex cup anymore. Third of a cup of OJ. Whoopsies. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like cheese, yes. <laughs> See, I didn't even need to get my second orange juice. And then half a cup of the almond milk. And then there was a banana, I think. I'm pretty sure there was a banana. Cheese smoothie, someone tell Cables. <laughs> oh. See, there's my alert. Good, I'm glad that it worked. At least now I know that I did it right. It wasn't just, uh, you know, whatever. I can't speak. Multitasking is hard. We'll see if it gets anybody else in there. Fun do thee. <laughs> Smooth do. I like it, Baba Bean. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot to change the question of the day. So I'm just gonna ask you guys. So one of the things I'm gonna make after we're done here, uh, I'm gonna make cornbread waffles with chili on top for dinner. And my question for you guys is, what other ways do you think we should try savory waffles? Because we did falafel waffles on the stream a couple months ago. And I think it's fun. I remember a really long time ago having like cornmeal waffles or pancakes. Pancakes. Cornmeal waffle. Pancakes. Cornmeal pancakes. <laughs> With goat cheese and some like salsa stuff on top. It was from a cookbook called like Recipes from a Vegetarian Goddess or something like that. That was really good. <laughs> was this it? Was this it from the cranberry orange smoothie? I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> Couple cranberries, banana, quarter teaspoon of zest, orange juice, almond milk, and then it was like agave if you want it, but I think that's it. <laughs> it's frozen. Look at it go! Probably good. Lots of flavors happening today. Okay. Yep, that was it. Unfortunately, I have to drink the rest of all these smoothies. Maybe I could do it again. Let's do that. Let's just make another one. And then maybe we'll get like two more out of it. It's a frozen berry. No, leave it. Leave it, leave it. We'll give it to you later. You're gonna choke on it hardcore if you eat it right now. It is good. <laughs> it's very tangy and delicious. <laughs> I'm not sure how, um, how it would do with having diabetes though, unfortunately. Have you been um, recommended to make any dietary changes yet? Mm. Feel free to FedEx it to you. <laughs> I know I joke about about it, but I I really am like an aspiring fruitarian. Like I love fruit so much that that's all I want all the time. Mm. 
I don't think I put the zest in there yet. Do you guys remember if I put the zest in there? I don't think I did. Dark Prince says, the doctor so far has told me to just drop some weight, stop eating noodles, rice, bread, potatoes. Yes, those are great suggestions. There's a number of, there's a number of things you can do. And I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I've seen a lot of studies that indicate you can control, control type two diabetes with diet. So it's definitely something to look into if you haven't already. Yes, uh, Mama Bean and I are both vegan here, so we're very much on the <laughs> food as medicine camp. <laughs> I don't think pork is considered plant-based. <laughs> good. It's like coming out of the freaking gasket in the middle. What a dick. This is a new blade and everything. The hell is that? Uncool. <laughs> Dark Prince says, I have about 14 pounds of my my taki mushrooms frozen that's supposed to be good at controlling diabetes. I, so I'll have to start eating it more and hope it doesn't excite my MS. I have no idea how somebody eats to help treat MS. So that's very fascinating to me. I know that um, I've never really been diagnosed with anything like that wasn't a birth defect. Um, I had a lot of like digestive health related issues a couple years ago and they couldn't actually find anything wrong with me. So I kind of just had to like experiment with a bunch of stuff and I don't think I actually found anything technically that worked um, but I did stop eating a bunch of junk food and I'm, I'm trying to eat as much healthy food as possible I don't know that healthy food is like a relative term but like basically I was just eating like cereal and pasta and oatmeal and just a lot of grains even if it was whole grains and stuff I wasn't eating enough fruits and vegetables so as soon as I devoted myself to incorporating more whole foods into my diet, a lot of my symptoms went away. Yeah, 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 not so much treat, just to relieve symptoms for sure. My aunt has lupus and she was pretty convinced that I was showing signs for that too, but I have no complaints anymore. There's, I don't want to say there's nothing wrong with me, but there's, I don't have any joint pain anymore and I don't have any intestinal problems anymore either. 
also. Awesome. So obviously I can't fill these up 100% of the way because they're going in the freezer. I don't want my jars to crack open. Uh, You've eaten so many vegetables this past year, you're surprised you don't look like one. <laughs> Good for you. So yeah, for you guys who are just tuning in, I am making smoothies and juices and freezing them so that I can have them at my convenience. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting these caps on, but I'm not screwing them on 100%. Um, so that way there's enough room in here for the smoothie to expand a little bit. Hopefully it won't go too much and crack everything. So we'll see what happens. I haven't actually done this before, <laughs> but I'm hopeful. What I was saying earlier is that part of the reason is because I, like most people, I struggle to take care of myself <laughs> because I want to do other things. Like I don't want to be in the kitchen for two hours after work. I work nine hour days, you know, and I mean, technically it's like I'm gone for 10 hours because of, you know, getting to and from work. So this will just enable me to have a more variety of healthy foods in my diet. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so I'm done with smoothies. I'm gonna try out some, um... Koodle says, I wish I could be placed in between two beds and then melted in between them like a giant grilled cheese. That kind of day, huh? So, I am going to make some juices now. And I'm going to try out some recipes that I haven't tried before. From this book. Sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> I flipped it vertically, but I forgot the other part. <laughs> so, I'm thinking about trying, it's like a carrot cucumber juice. Okay, let's see, do 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 Carrot limeade, except I don't have any limes. How did I forget that? Maybe I should try something else. Except I got the cucumbers. Let me see if I have another recipe with cucumbers in it. No pear. Mama Bean, have you gotten this book before? It's pretty good. It's, it's a, you know, Reboot Juice Fast plan, which I've never done, but um, I really liked this guy's movie. And I went to meet him at Barnes & Noble when this book came out. Sumac Aid. I have not, but it sounds like it comes from sumac. Is it like a lemonade made with bark or leaves or something? There's a car outside. We did lose internet for a little while, like three o'clock, and I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to stream. Comcast was outside working on something. I don't have any kale.
You know, I do have regular lime juice. I could just put like a quarter cup of lime juice in it when I'm done. And I don't have any mint. But I guess you don't need it. It's limeade, right? You don't need it to be minty. Okay, I think I'm gonna try it. So it's not gonna be exactly the same recipe, but I'm gonna give it a whirl anyway. We're just gonna get this out of the way for now. You guys missed it at the beginning of the stream, I was complaining about my oil bill. And it's like 50 degrees out today. So I'm kind of upset, like I don't understand why it's been so warm. I still go through like a half a tank of oil in a month. MVP and I bought this house because it was small and manageable. And like first time home buyers and stuff, it was a little intimidating. Looking at houses that were like six rooms. So we bought this really tiny house and now it's not big enough. But at the same time, it's like hard to stay heated. <laughs> I'm sure that's just related to the fact that it's old. What I'd really like though is to be able to have a pellet stove. And if we were to put a pellet stove in our living room, it would take up like the half of the living room. Like we'd have to get rid of the sofa. Mama Bean says, I don't have many cookbooks. I tend to just use YouTube and stuff. My collection is very out there. I got the Thug Kitchen cookbooks, that Forks Over Knives one, and then Hot for Food book. Yeah, this, they are very vulgar. Dark Prince says, I forage the stag horns off the sumac trees and soak the berries for three hours, strain it, add a touch of sweetener, and then you have a softer lemon, add packed full of vitamin C. Interesting. I've never heard of anybody doing that before. <laughs> it sounds good. I would try it. I'd try pretty much any type of, any type of beverage. Come on. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, and I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter me complaining about the ceiling in my living room being kind of derpy. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that either. It has cracks, cracks in the ceiling and it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall down or anything, but I'm kind of paranoid about it. And then um, if I'm gonna hire a contractor to fix the ceiling, like should I hire a contractor to also Look at the layout of the house and maybe change where the doors are. Mm hmm Yes, Koodles, that's what I'm making for dinner. So I'm actually cheating. I got canned chili. That I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use a cookbook recipe for cornbread waffles. And then I'm gonna turn this into a syrup. <laughs> I'm gonna puree this. Maybe. Or I might just mash it and spread it on top. I'll do that. But yeah, so. This is primarily a meal prep stream today. But then we're gonna make waffles for dinner. And then when we're done, I'm still gonna be prepping stuff. I can't stream it though. Yeah, chili with avocado on it is like amazingly fabu. And that's why I'm gonna put it, I'm probably gonna put mashed avocado on top of a cornbread waffle and then put the chili on top. Doesn't that sound great? 
So eight carrots and two cucumbers. So I got these two really mushy cucumbers from Aldi. This one will probably last me another day. And I think I'm just gonna rinse them. Rinse them and cut them. So, Dark Prince, I think you might be onto something with the moisture not being able to escape because there's so much insulation upstairs. Um, so when we we bought the house, it was like that. Um, if you go upstairs, it's it's so narrow, like you can't stand up. Um, so I haven't really gone up there and tried to move the insulation around more evenly. Um, but it could be that. Um, I have some pretty serious truss lift on one side too, but it's just on the one side. Like it's not the whole, the whole ceiling, it's just some in different areas. Um, the house was built in 1950, but I don't know which part of the house came first. So there's basically a, a basement under the kitchen, but the rest of the house is just on like a pylon like a crawl space under the living room and the bedrooms. And both of the bedrooms are additions. So it's pretty ramshackle, <laughs> but I don't know which part of the house was built first. You might just need some air vents. Yeah, what, I have a friend um, on Twitter who's an architect and he said to just like get a contractor to come over um, and take a look at everything. And he could give us an idea of if it's actually in bad shape or not. I need another towel. Oh, I forgot. Rusty can totally have, he can totally have cucumbers. So I'm gonna cut a piece off for him. Here, let's put it on the funny towel. Can you guys see the funny towel? <laughs> Every house with a basement is haunted. Um, mine isn't haunted, it just has mice in it. <laughs> so with it, with it being, of course there's like cat hair all over this. I cannot win you guys. There's literally cat hair all over everything. Uh, yeah, so without a full basement, the mice, can pretty much, if they discover the place, come and live in the basement. Um, which is not my favorite thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have bats. We don't usually see the mice. Um, they were living in the attic and we did, we did make it so they couldn't get up there anymore. Um, but they're definitely still in the basement because we found little mouse poops underneath the laundry um, organizer that we have. So they basically came up through where the, um, the heating baseboard is just squeezed up in there, and I guess they were tempted because I had dropped a lip balm um, over there and they could smell it. So they got up there and they tried to eat the lip balm, which they weren't able to get through. They just kind of hung out for a little while, pooped a bunch, and then left. Like there's, <laughs> it was just in that one little corner. I keep, like, I keep sitting here or Whenever I have free time at ho at home, thinking to myself, like, was this a good place? <laughs> was this was this worth the money? Should I just like stop putting effort into fixing it up and try to find someplace else? Come here, babe. Like, 
I don't know. Nothing seriously wrong has arisen with it, but it still kind of seems like, why am I making this place nicer if, if it's just gonna be a dump, like when we go to sell it? I still have to finish painting the kitchen cabinets. <laughs> Honestly, our thought is to replace the floors and um, just kind of make everything look a little better and then try to sell it so we can get a slightly larger house and then a frickin' pellet stove. We really want a pellet stove. We just, if we stay here, we won't have room for a couch and a pellet stove. So I'm not sure that's worth it. Like, would you guys have a pellet stove but no couch? Like, how do you feel about that? Well, Mama Bean, I know that everything here is up to code because I just bought the house like two years ago. So that I don't really need to worry about. It's just, um, well, to give you an example, when we moved in, all of the rooms in the house were brown, except MVP's office, which was bright pink, because they have one girl child. They actually had a little boy, too, so they had two kids living in here, um, and that's why they sold it to get a bigger house, was because um, they needed a room for him, too. Couches are overrated. So here's the thing, Dark Prince. I have a habit of falling asleep on the couch, so if I don't have a couch, I still need a place to fall asleep. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I could do like a recliner or something. I guess that would work. It would definitely make, so getting a pellet stove would definitely make my, my worry about um, paying so much for heat go away, because pellet pellet heat in combination with everything else would save us a lot of money. Could buy a whole pallet of pellets up here for like 250 and it'll last you the whole winter. Mama Bean says one of the rooms is neon pink and purple. <laughs> and Dark Prince says when on my computer I sit on a lazy boy recliner. I also have three animals that like to sleep on me when I'm on the couch so it would be pretty comical. I think we could do it, like, if we actually wanted to, but I'm not sure that MVP really does. I think MVP really wants to sell this house and get a bigger one so that we can have, like, a devoted gaming room and, like, set it all up like Critical Role. <laughs> Definitely part of the long-term goal. Okay. Ugh, come on. Four apples. This says it's two servings, but I feel like it's gonna be like four servings. Yes, and get yourself a fancy ass kitchen, that's right. You know it. Mama Bean would be under her desk if you used a recliner for a chair at your computer. And sitting too long is bad, yeah. Dang it. What time is it getting to be? 4.40. Well, I gotta get moving, cause we got waffles to make. See, yeah, I almost cut off my thumb right there. That would have been great TV. I would never get up if you used a recliner. So, true story, like, MVP and I go to Ikea and we walk through all of the frickin', like, model rooms where it's like, my 500 square foot home! And we're like, this has everything that you could possibly want. But then you get to the bedroom and it's like literally a closet and there's a mattress in there <laughs> and that's it. So, <laughs> I mean, technically we could have everything we want in it, but 
We just have to decide which areas of it we're okay sacrificing. I've already said we should get rid of the couch. Um, so that we can get, you know, different stuff. And she's like, well, where will people will stay when they come over? And it's like, at a hotel. <laughs> Mainly she, she brings up the fact that I fall asleep on the couch all the time, though. So we would have to get a recliner. She's not, she's not wrong about that. <laughs> okay, and then I need about two inches of ginger. I'm excited to try this out, you guys. I don't usually experiment with juices. Once I find something I like, I usually just make the crap out of that. So I, I make like pineapple carrot juice a lot. And then I make um, a beet, carrot, apple, orange, lemon combo. Hi, Sagarith, how's it going? We're just about to wrap up the meal prep portion of the stream. I'm gonna run all this stuff through my juicer and then we're gonna make cornbread waffles and put chili on top. How are you doing, Sargrith? Dark Prince, I aspire to do just that. To, to be completely honest with you, I really want to break myself of the habit of falling asleep on the couch. Um, and I've been trying to make my bedroom like a little cozy den. Um, I even got a TV in there. We <laughs> Before we realized that things were so expensive with maintaining the house, uh, we bought a 50 inch television with cash. So I have a second television in the bedroom that I was going to watch streams and things on but um, I have to rearrange some stuff in there in order to fit it right. The new Harry Potter movie, but I want to be inside where there are no people or light. Interesting. Does that mean that the movie theater you were going to go to is outside? <laughs> Um, okay, you guys, I am going to start juicing. So please remember that this says it's two servings. I feel like it's going to end up being four servings. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Why are you going backwards? Should take my phone over here so I can still read chat. First, try the first showing of the day. Should not be as many people if it's during work or school. Yep, that's a great point. Mamba Bean says, I don't like going to the movies, especially if the movie is new and there's gonna be a lot of people. I always need the very back row so I don't get some turd kicking my seat. Yep. <laughs> can't really even see what's going on. Let's do this. So, that's a little better, I guess. Sagarith says, I'm pretty bad about that kind of stuff. I, if I don't have the bean, 
I go once or twice for groceries and spend the whole time in my pajamas. <laughs> Mamba Bean says you would think that, but I tried that once and it was like people took the day off, including the kids. And then Koodle says, when I go to the movies, it's always like on a whim and by myself. Yep. MVP and I really like going to the movies, but we don't we don't go to just see anything. Like we're we're kind of like even even though I just said that we bought a 50 inch television on a whim, the, the both of us are very I don't want to say frugal, but we are very picky about what we spend our money on. Can't be too close to a holiday. Yep, that's true. If you live someplace like a metropolitan city or where a lot of people are self-employed, um, you'll also have the problem where people make their own schedules. You can't really predict when is going to be the busy time and when's not going to be busy. You do have a good drive to go to a theater and it's in the city, yep. That will happen. Living in Austin was was kind of eye-opening for me because I grew up here in New Hampshire and like everybody worked nine to five Monday through Friday. And you can still kind of see that happening. Um, like if you go to Walmart during the week, it's a lot less busy than if you go on Saturday. But in Austin, things are busy all the time. Like, it doesn't matter. The waste bucket looks like you're making salsa out of the leftover bits. I mean, you could eat it. Rusty likes it. <laughs> if we, um, if I had more time, I would actually use the the juice pulp to make muffins or something. It was on my to-do list. I could always save some of it. It's just extra fiber. So when you juice things, you still get the calories, you still get the nutrients, but you don't get as much of the fiber. So when you're drinking a, a freshly squeezed juice, you're getting everything, including the protein, except for the fiber. You get a lot less fiber. There's still some though. Yes, I do compost it for the most part. I have tried to make things with it before, but it's just not something that I do like a lot of people do, especially if you're like really into raw food. You can mix you can mix this pulpy stuff with ground flax seeds and water and dehydrate it and make it into a cracker. That's some level five vegan stuff right there. Okay, so we're pretty much done. And that made just about thirty two ounces. So I guess it is, you know, technically two servings. It's 16 ounces a piece. Okay. We'll 
gives them to Rusty. It's in your bowl! <laughs> There's wires all over the place today. He's very confused. It's a little obstacle course. Yeah, I did really want to make muffins because I end up buying baked goods a lot um, while I'm at work, but I'm not going to get to it today. Or tomorrow. So if I plan, plan for it next time, I can definitely add that to my to-do list next week. If all of this stuff goes well, I'm like flinging, flinging compost all over the place. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this in here. See all this compost stuff I've made in just one day? It's crazy. So, I believe that there is approximately a quarter of a cup of lime juice in a lime. So let's ask the expert. Alexa, how much juice is in a lime? Two tablespoons, that's almost a quarter of a cup. Maybe I'm thinking of lemons. So how much was it? One lime, so two tablespoons. I can do that. Poodle says, when I do that random trip to the movies, it's usually on the day, on the day that I've called in to work. <laughs> also, I take an Uber so I don't have to drive. Just One Day sounds like a great song. <laughs> Koodles loves Uber, cruising around my suburb, listening to music, but I loathe driving to the city for entertainment purposes. I can see that. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a lovely brown color, isn't it? It's probably because I left the skin on the cucumbers. So I just need my lime juice and a tablespoon and then I'll drink some of it and I'll tell you whether or not it's any good because this is a recipe I haven't tried yet. Look out, Rust! And then we're gonna make <laughs> some waffles. Mama Bean says you're slowly getting some luxuries. Like what? Do you have a Barnes & Noble? Like being able to order groceries online and then going and sit in the parking lot and they bring them out to you. That's nice. I, I don't do usually do that because um, a lot of places have Instacart as their service and they include an upcharge in the price of each item. <laughs> when you use Instacart. Yeah, that's yummy. Delish. So I think I'm gonna separate this into three jars. Or maybe I could do two and then just drink the rest of it now. Let's do that.
Kroger click list. Well, so what I'm saying is that like the price of the thing you order through the app or whatever is more than if you bought the same thing in the store. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't tell you there's an upcharge on this item, but like instead of 49 cents a pound, your bananas will be 99 cents a pound. Because I saw that Al I saw that Aldi was doing that. Actually, we're just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna bring this to work with me tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I saw that Aldi was doing Instacart now, and I went on there, and like the prices were totally different. I know it's just an example. I I, I don't know. If that's the right amount. It's funny you say that, Bookworm, because 99 cents a pound for bananas is what the grocery store I work at charges. But they're organic. <laughs> it's the organic surcharge. All right, you guys. That was super fun. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did that. Now I just have to make dinner and it's gonna be really easy because it's baked goods. Everybody loves baked goods. So, I don't need this anymore. This is gonna be after. We can get rid of that. I loved baked goods, yes! <laughs> Everybody loves baked goods! <laughs> yes, they are, and that's why I buy a lot of my stuff at Aldi at the moment. I'm trying to save money <laughs> because of impending issues like needing to redo the ceiling in my house. <laughs> Just had a craving for oatmeal. I had oatmeal for lunch. I love oatmeal. So, true story you guys, shopping at Aldi, I buy mostly just produce and then some canned stuff, and I spend 30 to $50 a week there for two people, and I might supplement it by going to another store that sells brand name vegan stuff, but that's really just like maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 more dollars and it's not every week. So I'm buying all of the food that I actually want, but paying like half the amount by just going to a different store. Even though I have a pretty good discount at the store that I work at, I just can't afford to buy all my stuff from there at the moment. Because it's a high-end place. I think I have my receipt from today. What did I buy? <sighs> my organic bananas for. <laughs> banana, 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 banana. 49 cents a pound, yep. Mama Bean says, I'm 98% Aldi and the rest of what I can't get at Aldi. Some things are so much cheaper, yes, for sure. I usually have oatmeal with peanut butter and agave nectar sprinkled with cinnamon. Hey, Mama's House, how's it going? We just finished making some smoothies and juices for the week. And we are gonna make cornbread waffles um, for dinner with the waffle maker that again is somewhere I can't get to it. So you know what? I'm gonna turn, do I have? Nope, that doesn't work. All right, we're just gonna go back here. Nope, other one, this one. And we're gonna 
We're gonna get rid of that for a second. <laughs> because I need to get in this cupboard. If it's even in here, like I'm not even sure. Nope, it's not in here. Okay. So my waffle maker appears to be downstairs. Which of course, of course I would do this to myself. But it's fine, it's totally fine. We're just gonna make the batter and then I'll run downstairs and get it when I'm ready. So, hi Mama's House, how's it going? How you doing? Thank you for coming by. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at myself because I'm climbing over all these wires for my tripods. All right, so I'm getting my flour. Got flour, baking powder. I think I need another thing of baking powder. Yep, okay and probably need cornstarch. I don't remember the recipe 100%. Here I go over the wires again. If something falls over, my apologies. Okay. And then I also need the cookbook that the recipe is in. And I also have to turn up the heat in the house because 68 degrees in here and I'm cold. Okay. <sighs> Going well. Couldn't get Streamlabs up today, so no stream today for me. Oh, that stinks. I hate when that happens. Bookworm, I agree, everything, everything seems to be cheaper at Aldi. That's why I shop there so much now. You're making three pans of magic cookie bars right now, yummy. <laughs> Sargeras, a funny guy. Cornbread waffles, page 92. Okay. Yeah, baking powder, salt, sugar, canola oil. Okay, so I need almond milk from the refrigerator. I love waffles so much, you guys. And I struggle. I gotta tell you, it's a struggle. If you've ever been in a relationship with someone with a different metabolism than you, you'll understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> Mama Bean says, Clem actually reads backwards and she doesn't want us to know she's an alien, so she claims her camera is flipped. <laughs> it's flipped vertically, so I didn't fix it the other way. Let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> do 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 do. Flip vertically. There's no other option. So next time I'm gonna have to remember that so that I twist the camera around. <laughs> and then I can flip it vertically. We're on to you. <sighs> Found me out. All right, so. <clears throat> Remember when I was talking about how MVP really wants to sell this house so we can get a different one? I am on board with that, mainly so that I can have a kitchen that actually works, and that I can get in line with so I can stream properly. Hey guys, what was in this? Oh, almond milk and orange juice. Okay, so I'm just going to rinse this out. I'm so glad you guys showed up today. I look forward to streaming. I really do. One of the reasons why I wanted to make all these smoothies and things 
for the week was so that when I come home, I can do all my chores and stuff and then keep working on streaming stuff and website stuff because I'm not taking care of myself and when I don't do that, I don't have any energy and then I can't work on the stream. So, yeah, Mama Bean, take your phone. Go get some oatmeal. Oatmeal's delicious. It's good and good for you. You like to stream because people in chat keep you company? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it takes so much time to, like, cook and stuff. And I feel like it's more compelling for me to do it when I have company to distract me from how many dishes I'm gonna have to do when I'm done. Right? Am I right? Dishes are the worst. So, okay. All right, so this book is really great, and I use it a lot. So we're gonna make the cornbread waffles out of this cookbook here. And they are delicious. So obviously this recipe is not gonna go online um, because it's not mine, but it's in this cookbook. And if you join my Discord server, there's a link and pictures and some pictures of recipes in there too. If you also are on my info page here, if you scroll down, you'll see the little Amazon gear stuff. And there's a list of recommended stuff from Amazon. Um, and it's listed in there. Um, so when you're making vegan waffles, you kind of have to like add different stuff to them to make them do what you want in terms of baking. So this author uses apple cider vinegar in a lot of her recipes because it gives things a tanginess that you would get from something like buttermilk. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm putting, oh, just a teaspoon, whoops, okay. Teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in two cups of non-dairy milk. And then I'm gonna swirl it up and then it's gonna be curdled by the time we need it. Just like that. Okay. Good old vegan buttermilk. That's right, Mama Bean. Okay, so for the rest of it, I don't have enough room! Last week while I was streaming, my mom went to look at a house and I had seen it online because um, I was hanging out with her one day and she went to show me another house and we just saw it there and we're like, wow, that looks great. So it's a really cool house, but it's out of my price range um, and it had a great kitchen. She says that the reason why nobody's buying it and the reason why they won't buy it is because to get from the first floor and the second floor or the second floor and the third floor is a spiral staircase and that's the only way to go to and fro. And they're thinking about when they're like 80 years old, do they really want to go up a spiral staircase? And there's no way to expand it because there's a giant chimney with fireplaces on multiple sides going up through that area. So they would need to like completely renovate it in order to get a staircase in there. Okay, one cup of flour. I was pretty disappointed because I really wanted them to get that house just so that I could go over and look at it. But it's pretty crazy because it's like, um, I knew that there had to have been something wrong with it because it was listed for like 350, I think. And there's two living spaces. So like there's an in-law apartment downstairs and it has an attached solarium and <laughs> hardwood floors, all kinds of really great stuff. It has a pellet stove 
And that's the reason why, is because it only has a spiral staircase. Bookworm doesn't do dishes if you were the one to cook, it's someone else's job then. Well, neither me or MVP likes to do dishes. Oh, thanks for the host, Mama Bean. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, neither of us likes to do dishes, so... When it comes to something like today, where I'm streaming, it would be rude of me, in my opinion, to ask MVP to clean up after me. Does that make sense? And yes, Mama Bean, same thing happens to me. Like, MVP does load the dishwasher and stuff, but... And she's staying late, so that's good. At least, uh, she won't be waiting for these waffles to be done. <laughs> One and a half cups of cornmeal. Oh, did I say Mama Bean? I met Mama's house. I saw it up there. Thank you for the host, Mama's house. <laughs> Zeus has Nog. Koodles tried to steal it. It's already gone. <laughs> Hey, Jinx! Oh no, Mama Bean! See, and I did it again. Mama's house. <laughs> if ever I do anything wrong, you should point it out because clearly I have an issue with saying words. <laughs> Hi, Jinx. Did you, um, did you get an alert? Because we were talking about that earlier. It didn't send one out until like 20 minutes later. I am feeling pretty good. Um, I'm still a little kind of flemmy and stuff, but I'm at least able to function. I don't have any measuring spoons. Okay, so what do I need? I need quarter cup and half teaspoons. Okay. Well, did I see a quarter of a cup? I have an eighth of a cup. I'll just use that. And then I need to find one of these quarter teaspoons and wash those. Jinx, I was wondering where you were at. Did you have to work? Are you on your way home? Just got off work though. Alert says one hour ago, yeah. I started uh, at 3.30, so. <laughs> uh, Zeus, check the Discord. I might have already posted it. Um, like I was telling everybody, it is out of a cookbook, so I, I'm not comfortable putting it, like, in the show notes or on the website because it's somebody else's property, but, um, I did share some pictures of the cookbook in the Discord, um, because when Jinx subbed and spun the sub wheel, she got a book recommendation, and this is the one I decided to do. Um, let's see. Tablespoon of baking powder. Apparently I need a tablespoon as well. And I'm gonna need to open a new one. Yeah, so this one is out of a book. But I can definitely send it to you too, directly, if it's not on the Discord. Yes, it's out of the vegan brunch. Um, I, I don't know how, how that works, uh, Mama's House. I feel like it's frowned upon. No part of this publication may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, electronic, mechanical, photocopying, recording, or otherwise, without the prior written permission of the publisher. That's what it says in the book. So... I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Half 
half a teaspoon of salt. Ah, fudge. Dang, lang. Huh. I'm just gonna not have this up here anymore. <laughs> this is what I have to do. Okay. Okay. Sorry again. <laughs> This is what happens when I try something new. Need salt. Salt is in here. Yes, Clem gets salty. <laughs> that was a little much, but it'll still be delicious. What the heck did I get on my cabinet? My cabinets are filthy. Where, when did that even happen? <sighs> Two tablespoons of sugar. Hi, Rusty. baby so for you guys that are just tuning in I made juices and smoothies earlier in the stream and I'm putting them in the freezer to see how well they like stay frozen and thaw later in the week so I can eat healthier things um, in addition to eating the heavier things that I need in order to function as a human person so I'm trying to make sure I drink my, my vitamins and minerals from food instead of relying on vitamins because they don't work as well. Okay, so the only other liquid thing I need is a quarter of a cup of canola oil. And then my almond milk, buttermilk stuff. And then we're making waffles. Making the waffles. Um, so I don't know if you guys have been into the Discord recently. Now you want spinach? Oh, because of my smoothies and stuff? Yeah, they were pretty good. Um, I'll put those recipes on the Discord and on the blog soon. Um, and I'll be sure to follow up with you guys to see how the the freezing went and the unfreezing goes as well. Because if this works for me, it'll work for a lot of people. I'm really excited about it. Um, but what I was saying is that I don't know if you guys have been to my Discord server recently, but I've changed some stuff. Um, I've created like a sub area, um, which I'm pretty sure everybody can see. But, um, I named, I gave it a community name, and I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this, but, um, I was thinking about calling my community because <laughs> the channel currency is beans. I was thinking about calling, um, the community, uh, Beanie Babies, but spelling it a little bit differently. Hello? Oh, thank you for the bits, Mama Bean. Mama's house. <laughs> See, I do it. I can't help it. It just starts coming out of my mouth. Mama's house. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so there's a special, there's a special um, community section of the Discord server now that has some stuff related to subs. Um, and we'll also have some other stuff in there. Rusty, what are you doing? I have beans on the brain, yes. <laughs> Mama's house. Mama's house. <laughs> Can someone uh, give Mama's house a shout out because she's being such a good sport about me not being able to say her name? <laughs> I always forget that I like to whisk my waffles, too. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, that's good. You're so welcome. I'm sorry my brain is derpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so one of the things that I wanted to start doing, and I haven't put it in the Discord yet, is having a Google Doc. Um, wait, what was this for? Oh, no, I think I changed my mind. Yeah, it was because to make the sweet, sweet waffles would be a quarter cup of sugar, and I decided to do savory. Yeah, okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> so that's fine. That's good. Okay. I would like to have a Google Doc that serves as a Beanie Babies community cookbook. So my thought is that subs, uh, I would like, if they would, if they desire, to have an original recipe in the community cookbook. And then all other community members can post a link to one of their favorite recipes. And that way, whenever somebody wants to try something new, maybe they can look at the community cookbook and find something they didn't think they um, have seen before. I think that would be really fun. Um, and I'm gonna put it in the Discord soon. And I will be sure to tell all you guys about it um, and try to get you guys involved in that because I think it will be a lot of fun. What do you guys think? That's a good idea? I thought so. Uh, I will also be RB because I have to go downstairs and get, get my waffle maker. And that also involves putting on shoes because my basement is gross. And remember the mice and stuff, so. I wonder if you'll be able to hear me when I'm downstairs because of the lavalier mic. It'll be fun to find out. Join me as I venture into the basement. Here we go into the basement. Oh, hey, the waffle maker's right here. <laughs> it's in the stairway going down to the basement on a shelf. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. I apologize. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's get this back up. Okay. All right, we got it on max. It looks pretty clean. Now let's put the camera back on. We'll be putting Oreo smoothies in there, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want it to be like a community cookbook, so. Whatever you guys wanna put in there. You know, like those church fundraiser cookbooks, except it won't be a fundraiser because it'll be free. That works. So I'm gonna preheat this and then I usually like to do coconut oil on the griddle. I need my stool in order to get to it. Because I was also thinking about like, you know how a lot of people have um, like sub maps and stuff. I think that would be really fun, but I think it will be more, more rewarding and more interactive with it being a cookbook. Because
because I've published, like I've self-published books before, and one of the things that is fun about it is you can like come up with new editions. But if it were Google Doc, it could be there available all the time, and I would just update it like once a month. The community cookbook sounds cool. Great. That's probably the most original idea that I've come up with for the stream so far. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it, actually. So, I'm glad you guys are back, but I actually have to go use the bathroom, so I'm gonna be right back. Let me turn the mic down. I'll be... Rusty had to go potty too. Cheese jokes. I remember cheese jokes. All right, look out, Rust. So this thing says it's ready. This is my favorite, my favorite thing. This waffle maker is the best gift that I've ever gotten. It works really, really well. And it's just like a midline one. It's not a super expensive one either. Rusty, yes, Rusty is a dog. I'll show him off to you in just a second. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, my name is Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, Rusty. Rusty has his own Twitter account. It's underscore McDoggo pants because it's underscore McVegan pants. <laughs> Our hair color used to match, but he's a little old man now. He's going to be. He's gonna be 10 in January. Mm. All right, get out. 
Look out! Yeah, you ain't away! <laughs> yeah, I love you. Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, I do have two cats, but they don't really make an appearance. Mia does come when she's called, but only if she thinks she's gonna get something out of it. I can try to get her in here, though. Mia! Mimi! Mia! <laughs> Ooh, look at the steam coming off of that waffle maker. So good. I'm really excited. Uh, Zeus, she actually hasn't really been interested in the butter or the Cocoa Whip recently. I don't know what the deal is, but... She's been being pretty good. Let me see if she's even poked her head up. Mia! Can, do you want to come on the stream? Do you want to come on the stream? She really doesn't like being picked up. People are asking about you. Do you want to come on the stream? Want to say hi? Come here. She says no. Do you guys hear her? Come on. No? You don't want to come? She's on the couch. She's rolled up in a little blankie. Did you hear her? Mia is the fat kitty, yes. Yes, they, they do hate being picked up. I think it's because it squishes all of her organs. <laughs> Both of my cats like to talk to you, though. So, when I went over there and I put my hand on her, she went, meh. <laughs> Porgy, Porgy is in the bedroom. She, per she perked up when I said her name. I see these little glowing eyes blinking at me. Porchy, do you want to come on the stream? <laughs> they sleep. They just sleep all day. They're not very active. Oh, here she comes. Come here, Porchy. Come on, Porchy. <laughs> She's very confused. She was asleep. <laughs> um, the waffles, I like to cook for seven minutes. With waffle makers, it's always different. Um, but I find that seven minutes works the best for this Oster version. And I have it on high. You do have to make sure you put oil on the waffle maker too. So, this is a huge mess, you guys. How much baking powder is in here? 16 ounces, eight ounces. So I could only fit half of that in there hate this like so this is a package of baking powder you use one tablespoon and then how are you supposed to get it to go back together that's impossible see you later bookworm thank you for coming i hope you had a good time i'm having a great time Super fun, super fun cooking time. And then I get to eat waffles. <laughs> Hopefully this chili is good. I haven't tried this one before. Put it in another container. I, yeah. Like a mason jar or a plastic bag? What do you think? I don't know why I'm tapping a can of chili. Mama Bean, have you had this Amy's chili before? I usually buy the black bean chili, but they didn't have it. And this one has vegetables in it. I don't have a pickle jar. Um, I have bottles. I don't know that I have any big mason jars clean at the moment. I have huge ones 
And then I have the 12 ounce ones that I just bought today. So, I guess I'm just gonna put it in a sandwich bag. That's not very safe though. Maybe I'll just put the thing in the sandwich bag and then clip it. But I don't even have a clip. I looked for some chip clips earlier today and I couldn't find any. God, the struggle, the struggle is real. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? 40 seconds. So I actually think I'm going to cook this chili on the stove so that I can cook some of the liquid off of it so it's nice and thick when I put it on the waffles. Alexa, stop. Need more oil on the pan, on the top. No, come on. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Doesn't that look great? Oh yeah, oil. Well, I'm getting distracted by chat. Does anyone have any other suggestions for savory waffles? The question of the day. We made falafel waffles over the summer. Now we're doing chili waffles. Alexa, timer seven minutes. All right, what am I missing in chat? Mama Bean says, if I can't buy canned stuff for like 49 cents, I usually don't buy it. That's fair. Uh, have a nice uh, night, Mama's house. I said it right this time. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I'd like to try chive waffles. Okay, Mama Bean. So tell me where you're coming from with this. Chive waffles. So is the chives, are the chives in the waffles or is it maybe a waffle with like some sort of yogurty, chivey dressing on top? Tell me what you're thinking with this. Stay Healthy Bot wants me to remember to drink water. And you're right, I have not had any water for a while. I have this tiny little cup. I'll just use this for now. This is my tincture cup for the day. I have been drinking my tinctures out of it. She says, yes, mixing chives in the batter topped with green onions, chives, maybe dill and sour cream. 
Maybe some onion powder in there too. Yeah, that sounds good. So what about like dilly waffles? Dilly waffles with maybe some sort of cream sauce on top. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes on top of your waffles with dill. Like an Asian pancake. I haven't had an Asian pancake before. What's an Asian pancake? Why are you barking? That chili is okay. I've had better chilies, but it is pretty spicy. Um, I'm sure vegan aioli can be a thing. Aioli is made, like, with mayo, right? Like, it's some sort of mayo sauce. Because you can make, uh, there's, uh, stuff called veginase, which is, like, mayonnaise. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. They're savory pancakes, but can do waffles. I'll have to look into that. But I like you guys' suggestions a lot. There's like scallion waffles too. That sounds good. I have to have a piece of it. So good. Um, there's a streamer that I've watched a couple times, um, East Meats Kitchen. She does primarily, um, Asian recipes, and they always look really, really delicious. She doesn't stream very much because it's, like, behind the scenes streaming, so basically she live streams when she's making YouTube videos and pictures and stuff. Potato cheddar chai waffles. That sounds good. Is that something that you see online? Do you want to post the link? If it's a link, feel free to share. I'm gonna like take a look at it right now because it's the question of the day potato cheddar and chive waffles vegan option flour baking powder salt Pepper, mashed potatoes, butter, garlic, milk, eggs, chives, and cheddar cheese. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Yummy. Thanks for sharing, Mama Bean. Yeah, you could totally do day instead. I'll have to check that out a little more in depth. Chris, um, MVP made us chicken and waffles um, a long time ago, and that was pretty, pretty delicious. I'm not really crazy about fried chicken, but it was really good.
you want to try it with pancakes those sound really good like you could even put like a soft cheese on top pair it with some home fries just lots of potatoes <laughs> potatoes and cheese and herbs sounds really good you know what just popped into my head is some sort of like wild rice waffle Alexa stop where's my fork Okay. Waffles are just so good. They're just so great. I love them. <laughs> I used to, um, when I had my food blog, I used to develop recipes for another blog. And they don't have a blog anymore. I don't know if it's a hosting issue or it just wasn't working out for them. But um, she makes spinach powder pancakes for her kids and I've always wanted to try that too. They're just green pancakes. All right, so this will probably make one more waffle. Alexa, timer, seven minutes. They're so cute. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> My favorite recipe, I make them all the time. I the one with the nibble take it out of it, yeah. <laughs> um MVP said she was gonna stay late, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna eat mine. And we're gonna use this plate. We'll just keep the extra ones in the microwave so they're out of the way. You know, I was saving this to top with the waffles, but then I don't think half of or a quarter of an avocado is gonna be enough for me, so I'm just gonna use the whole thing. I just hope the other avocados are soft enough for MVP to have one too. She'll be pretty bummed if they're not. It's like a green epi um, avocado epidemic up here. I can't find any that are ripe in the store. Bet I have some cheese too. I 
And VP is on her way home. So. Maybe the last waffle will be done by the time she gets here. This is probably enough chili for me. Maybe a little bit more. It's gonna be a lot to eat. All right, gotta see if I have cheese. Yeah! <laughs> By the way, I have cheese. <laughs> So, um, for those of you keeping track of MVP's progress on Weight Watchers, she is still doing Weight Watchers, um, but she has forgotten to weigh herself for the past three weeks or so. <laughs> so I don't really know where she's at, um, but she's having some challenges um, staying motivated with the tracking. She's still making really, really healthy food decisions. Um, but she hasn't been tracking everything all the time, which I can totally understand because it seems like a lot of work. And with something like today, she's definitely going to eat this. She's not going to really worry about the, uh, amount of points that it costs in order to enjoy. All right. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> um, so does anybody remember whose idea this was? Was this um, Cable's or MVP's idea? I don't remember who, who thought it would be a good thing to try first. That is a lot of beans. I know, I only got one can of chili because I didn't, I didn't plan, like I knew it was gonna be so much that we wouldn't be able to eat. Um, that much. <laughs> yeah, that's yummy. I mean, really? It's just like a giant cornbread bowl with chili on top and chili fixins. Yeah, this is stellar. So whoever's idea it was, Cable or MVP, thumbs up you. This was a great suggestion. It's super yum with the avocado. Just the avocado and the cornbread waffles is really delicious. Alexa, stop! Okay, so. We'll see if this is the last waffle or not. We might have too much and have to make a mini waffle. I'm 
Let's see if I can get this in here. Nope, that looks good. Alexa, timer seven minutes. Yep, this is great. Really, really good. Okay. So you guys, thank you so much for coming. I had a great time. If you're watching and you're still lurking, maybe you've been here for a few times, please follow. We're not going to bite you. <laughs> we, uh, we like you being here. And you can always come to the Discord and not say anything. You don't have to say anything either. <laughs> Over there. But you will have access to all the recipes and all of the fun community stuff that I'm going to be planning in the future. Um, including the community cookbook. So, please consider joining the Discord. Follow me on the Twitter. The chef assistant just posted the link. And, um, we're gonna find somebody. Yes, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I always have a great time. And, um, I wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> Jinx says we don't bite all the time. <laughs> so, I'm just taking a look at who is on. Does anybody know how much longer Gussie is gonna be on the Lotro stream? So I started following a couple new people. Oh, hi, Asian. She's gonna be on for another hour. I'm actually thinking about um, introducing you guys to Cattails because she's she's really cool, she's really sweet, and she's really fun. And she's playing a game called Cat Quest. Oh, is she not playing anymore? No, oh, she's still going. Oh my gosh! Shush! Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll go check her out. She's playing a really cute game, and, um, she's really nice, so I'd like to show her some, some support and such. So, thank you guys for coming, um, and I always love having your company. And I will be sure to come back next Monday at 4 o'clock. I don't know what I'm going to be making yet, but it's probably going to be more like meal prep stuff. So, um, And all of this stuff, experiments that I did with the freezing smoothies and juices and stuff, I'll post all of that in the Discord and on Twitter too. So if you're not able to come back on Monday and hear me talk about it, um, uh that information will be on there. Just making sure I'm spelling this right. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go raid Cattails. So be sure to tell her where you came from. And if you're a sub, use the O nut. Um, and just let her know that we were having a good time in the kitchen. And uh, I'll see you guys next week at four o'clock on Monday. And have a great night. Thank you again, and I hate saying goodbye, so I'm just gonna do it right now. So we're gonna do a raid. We're raiding right now. Here we go. 
and I'm gonna turn the mic down. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later.